Once you have categorized vendors, the next thing that anyone would like to know is how many A category vendors do you have, how many B category vendors do you have and, and so on. For these kind of you know, uh, uh, questions that you have to answer, there are certain functions which we will now check out. Um, before that, uh, let me quickly talk about three functions which are uh, very useful and extremely simple. So I'll just keep it, um, I'll just do it very quickly. Uh, the first function is count. Okay, the first function is count, and then we have count blank, and then count a. These are the three functions that we first talk about before we go and before we move on to finding out how many a's and b's and c's. So let's say I have a few numbers here, uh, some some random numbers. Okay, and uh, I write equals to count equals to count, and then this range. Okay. equal to count then this range I get 6 so what count does is it's counting the number of numbers in this range okay now what if I do a count a there's a function called count a and I do this right I still get 6 and now instead of 78 let me change it to a a and there you go count a still gives you 6 but count is now showing 5 which means count will only count the number of numbers you have okay and uh, count a will count both numbers and text so therefore you can see that uh, count a gives 6 whereas count is 5 uh, there is another function which is count uh, blank count blank and here if I give write this you get 0 because of course there is no blank space but let's say 14 I delete 14 and immediately you have count blank as 1 so you can now see in this case you have 4 numbers which count gives you you have 5 numbers plus text uh, which, which is what you get from count A and then count blank there is only one blank space so kind of three three functions which are pretty useful and uh, you should, should remember that all the time okay so these are count count a and count blank now here what we want is count when there is uh, an a so number of a category vendors so which is saying that count the number of vendors if that category is a so count and if so what we need here is this function called count if so number of a's so you write equals to count if equals to count if right and then you give the range range meaning where is it that you want it to count this is where you want excel to count and the criteria is of course a right and therefore it says that number of a is 3 um, uh, similarly if you want to find out number of b's what you have to do here is you have to write count if count if then the range and b which gives you 4 which means there are 4 b category vendors here ok now what if you want to find out the sum of the quality scores of all A category vendors? The sum of the quality scores of all A category vendors. So let me write it down. Sum of QS of all A vendors. Okay. Here it is. Sum of so there is a function which is called sum if sum if okay so that's what we want we want to sum if the uh, the vendor is a category so now here you see the first parameter is range which means where do you want uh, 
uh, some if to look for the criteria so this is e3 e14 criteria is a criteria is a and then some range which means which is the range which you want excel to sum or add uh, see if, if, you, if you just look at it you'll find that this is again within uh, third bracket square brackets which means it's optional so if you do not provide this value excel will understand that the range and the sum range they are the same but in our case it's not the same our range is the category e column whereas the sum range is the c column so you'll have to specify the sum range as c3 to c14 so and once we do that we found that find that it's 207 so there are uh, three a category vendors if you add their uh, quality scores you get uh, 207 so if you select this this three okay you get the sum as 207 okay now sometimes you may want to find out you may want to find out the number of vendors who have who are a category and from Mumbai let's say so now I have two conditions number a vendors from Mumbai okay a category vendors from Mumbai so there are two conditions in that case what I do is I use the function count ifs count ifs okay so I can provide multiple criteria if I use count ifs so you can see the the, the, uh, the parameters here criteria range 1 criteria 1 and then criteria range 2 criteria 2 and so on so criteria range 1 is this e3 e14 is a criteria range 2 is d3 d14 and uh, of course the criteria as I said is Mumbai so here I have trying to find out number of vendors who are a category from Mumbai and of course there is only one such uh, vendor which is which is ln okay so this is this is how you can use multiple criteria in count ifs well you can do the same thing for uh, sum let's say sum of uh, qs of vendors of of of, of uh, a vendors from mumbai okay so or, or let's say there's only one uh, from Mumbai so you can simply write uh, Kolkata let's say Kolkata has two A's so you can write sum of Q's, Q's of A vendors from Kolkata so we write equals to sum ifs there are, there are multiple criteria okay and uh, the first first parameter of sum ifs is sum range so you have to specify what is it that you want to sum so I want to sum quality scores, so C3, C14, then criteria range 1, which is E3, E14, the criteria is A, and then criteria range 2 is D3, D14, and the criteria is Kolkata. So now if you press enter, you get 143. So two Kolkata vendors one sixty eight the other seventy five if you add up you get one hundred and forty three so this is how you can count uh, with multiple conditions and sum uh, you know a particular column uh, using multiple conditions.